How much sleep do you need to go play three hours? Snake. He was constantly being hit on, constantly being chased. You know, you never know what he's thinking. You never know where he's going. You never know what he's up to. All that said Snake to me. He never quit living life and the most colorful lifestyle I think I've ever known of anybody. He lived life exactly like he played football. Far right, 89 turn in, 90 on one. Called his own plays, changed the plays in the huddle, changed the play after the snap. <laughs> Wherever he was, whatever he was doing, he was winging it, he was freewheeling, he was gunslinging, and he lived life the same way. He would say the, the huddle was 90 proof in the first half, but, uh, but he threw six touchdown passes in the second half. We went to do a speaking engagement in Oakland, and the night before the engagement, we went down to Jack London Square. He wanted to go down there. That was a hangout place. I walked in a bar, and I said, uh, any Kenny Stabler fans in here? The entire bar emptied out onto the street. There was 50 or 60 people standing around Kenny. He stood there for an hour and told stories and talked to everybody, emptied the bar completely out. I can just tell you over and over again about how good he was to everyone. And the other is just this, this incredible curiosity for knowing there's something bigger out there. He called God the big guy. He told me that many mornings he sat on his deck with a cup of coffee, watching the sun come up, and just thinking and thinking. And he said, I think I've kind of got all this figured out. This whole thing with the big guy, isn't it just about being constantly aware? He said, isn't it just about knowing that you can't ever get away from God? He's always there. He's in the middle of everything you do. You're in the middle of everything he does. Isn't it just about being aware? I thought that was uh, pretty profound.